Hi everyone, this is Shane Sation and today I'm bringing you another quick guide on how to farm the relatively new Dragon's Nest incursion for some nice endgame loot. This run takes only about 6 to 8 minutes to complete and it drops a variety of 229 and 268 gear score loot. You can find weapons, gear sets, anything from Alpha Bridge to Sentries and my favourite it also drops eye level 32 gear mods and weapon mods. Now this farm is relatively forgiving in terms of team setup. You can probably get by with one support player to run smart cover and pulse and one sentry player to help mark the bosses so you can get them killed as soon as possible. The only other important skills and talents to run would be immunity support station, heals and have two to three of your players running the offensive signature tactical link. Mm, you can also run three edge because many times your group's gonna be clumped together shooting the mobs. So this first part is fairly simple. Plant the bomb, open the door and kill the mobs. One quick tip is to send your player running pulse to plant the bomb so he can also drop a pulse closer to the mobs and this will help ensure that all the sneaky cleaners behind the doors will be caught within range of the pulse. Once that is done, your team can just hang back and just kill all the mobs. So the second encounter on this map is where you'll get to meet the four horsemen. War, death, pestilence and famine. And you'll also get to meet the cleaner's new deadly toy, the napalm filled remote controlled car. You're going to want to run with your team to the end of the car park and then head down at this point to the left. After that, you'll be making your way towards these boxes over here and this is where you'll be staying for the rest of the run. The beauty of this spot is that it keeps you safe from the pesky engineer remote control napalm car thingies. You should be able to make short work of all the mobs from this spot. Just one thing to take note, when you've killed enough of the first bunch of mobs, there will be a warning incoming hostiles detected thingy appearing and you will want to send at least one player to turn around quickly and take down the axe wielding mob that spawns, otherwise you'll end up charging your team and mess up your run. Yeah, nothing to do, drop some heals. Thanks. You can still triage. Once you've cleared the car park of danger, the next portion is where the bosses actually spawn. Once they spawn, your team is going to pop your tactical links in succession and start taking down the bosses as quick as you can. We usually start with Famine, the boss that spawns from the door behind you. Once that is done, look up and take down Death spawns above and to the right. And then you can take your time to bring down the remaining two bosses, War and Pestilence. You usually want to take down Pestilence first because he's a flamethrower and he can really screw up your whole team if he gets close, but in this video we took down War first. 
Once that is done, just clean up the remaining mobs and collect your loot. Once you're done, just fast travel out of the mission and get your leader to reset the mission to start the farm all over again. I hope you found this quick guide useful and if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button found below. And also feel free to join me and my community of oceanic players on Discord if you're looking for a nice community of players to play with. The Discord link can be found in the video description below. I'll leave you guys now with another one of our Dragon's Nest farming runs. Enjoy!